what's up YouTube um, now in the last video I promised I would start a snake tutorial but real quick before I start that I wanted to show one quick thing um, this was the last hello world program um, where I used to demonstrate add channel and delete channel but um, what I want to actually show with that too is a new function that I just found out about not too long ago which is um, screen dot order. I'm gonna set this to one and one instead, and you'll see why in a second. Is that now we have a whole border that even covers the bottom right corner, which is freaking awesome. But the problem is now that we have this delete channel, you can see this right here is moving that way because there used to be a space there, and now everything's getting all jacked up and weird and funky, and it's just not good. So what I want to do instead is, um, oops, add ch, y, x, and then a space. And then just do that for all the different directions. And I think that should be it. So now when we run this, it shouldn't give us any funky, weird stuff until I go up there. But we can adjust in the program so to make sure that doesn't happen by doing one minus two minus two. And we really don't need any of this. and one. So now we have a complete border around this window and um, there's no way that our little at character can really go anywhere. So that should work fine. Um, so that's kind of why you don't want to use delete ch very much because it can kind of mess up the other stuff because there's supposed to be like a space behind it, you know. But um, anyway, as promised, I will um hold on. I will start um a snake program. So the first thing we're gonna want to do is import curses, import uh time because we're going to want to make it so that um we can have like sort of a frame rate so that ev everything doesn't happen too fast or too slow and we can adjust it how we please. And import random so that we can tell it to make a like a little piece of food in a random position. So now the first thing we're going to do is do um, screen equals curses.init scr and then I'll add colors later, I don't really want to worry about that too much now. And then we're going to say head equals one one that's going to be where we're starting and then um, let's say body equals head copy times about five so then while oh the other thing I want to do was screen dot no delay is one so this means we don't have to wait for anything to happen. And then what we're going to do is screen.border to give it a nice little border. And then we're going to do while, hold on, let's make a variable called game over and set it equal to false. So while not game over. I forgot this, sorry about that. And let's make one more variable called direction equals zero. I'm going to put in here zero equals zero right, one left, or how about down, two, two, uh, left, three, just so we can remember stuff. 
Now, um, head. How about this? Wait a minute. And or how about so? First thing we're going to do is we're going to add ch head zero head one and about an X. X's look nice because they're like diamondbacks, you know? And then uh, what we're going to do is um, for Z in range of the length, or wait, how are we going to do this? And then what we're going to do is we're going to change head so that um, we're going to change head so that if direction equals zero, so that means we're going to go to the right. Which, so this is going to be our x coordinate is going to increase by one. Um, oh wait, our x coordinate is the second. So head one plus equals one, and likewise if direct yeah I can't spell direction equals two, then head one minus equals one. And then elif direction equals one, which means we're going down. Our y coordinate, which is our zeroth element, is going to have one added to it. Elif direction equals three. Head one. Head zero. One minus one. Now. At the bottom of this loop, before I move on, before I forget, I'm going to do time dot sleep. Um, I don't know. How about a tenth of a second for now? Uh, and then we're going to make a variable to check if anything bad has happened. So, yeah. so if head wait. So I'm going to introduce another thing called inch, I think, screen.inch. So this should check what the character is that's already there. So if screen.inch of head 0, head 1, not equal to ORD space, game over equals true. And another thing I want to do before I forget is uh, curses.end win. Oh, another thing I want to do is I actually want to put all of this as a function called game. Sorry, this might take a while. Okay, so now let's try this. Oh, I have to save this. Um, YouTube snake dot py. Wait, Python YouTube snake dot py. Oops. Oh, I don't want that in my game function. I want that to be. Screen. Um, that should work. Oh, and I have to call the game function. Game. Ah, 
I'm an idiot. Screen dot add ch. Oh, I didn't update the screen. Duh. Screen dot refresh. Let's try that now. There we go. So now you can see our snake is running fine. It's just going to keep on going right until it hits something that is not a space. And then the, the program ends. But you might have noticed that so the next thing I actually want to do is um, make it so the user can change direction. Um, actually, I'm kind of starting to run out of time. I will continue this in the next video, but um, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next.